I break a composition down, sometimes I've had small drawings. As far as, to me, the painting when you're doing abstracts, you gotta have, the composition has to be strong because you're creating something that people don't see, don't know what, what they're really looking at. So what I try to do is try to give a focal point per se, but I'm also wanting to lead the viewer through a composition, large areas of space so the eye can settle down, but also put tiny little um, accents or Easter eggs so they can bounce around and find like a little red dot or, or an orange object and manipulate that orange object. So it's just an accent, but they're looking through it through the composition. So I'm wanting to the viewer to go through the composition and enjoy themselves and enjoy this universe I'm trying to lead them through and take away visually what they want to take away. The palette, as far as the hue, the palette I, I'm going, what I'm trying to do, whatever is the dominant palette, the one I just worked on, and the one that is the subordinate, I try to make that the dominant palette, the dominant hue of the composition. So this painting kind of flows into the next painting, which flows into the next painting. So it's a nice little series, so you can kind of see the movement going through, kind of like a labyrinth. You know, labyrinth's constantly changing and moving. And to me, life is like a labyrinth as well. We're, we're not sure what this path we're on. We think it might be the right path, but lo and behold, you hit a crossroad, and it turns on you and leads you somewhere else. So there's a lot of symbolisms and attributes going into this composition, but a lot of it can be very zen when I'm breaking them out. It's, it's I'm going in and I'm mapping out and creating movement. And then as the painting progresses, when I start adding value and hue, once I start adding a, a particular hue or, or intensity of the chrome on one area, I've got to balance it out on the other. So sometimes the composition is going to change. And sometimes, I don't really think a painting's ever complete. I've gone back to paintings I've done 20 years ago. I'm like, oh God, I, I wish I could have done this. I wish I could have done that. It would make it a better composition. So what I try to do is take in what I feel is a stimulating aspect of one painting and try to keep it resonating in my mind's eye to incorporate it in the next painting. What I really think is, oh, that really made this piece punch. It really made it a strong piece. I want to incorporate it into the next abstract piece.